It is the most rewarding and best part of my job to see patients after they've had their treatment. The goal is never to make them look like someone else, it's just to make them look like a better version of themselves. My favorite thing to hear is, I'm so glad I did this. My only regret is that I didn't start sooner. I'm the director here at the Laser and Cosmetic Center at Tufts. I'm here to see Dr. Mustafa. I am also an active member of the American Society of Dermatologic Surgery and other professional societies aimed at bringing the best and evidence-based practice to our patients here at Tufts. There's a lot more that we have to offer now as opposed to even several years ago. And these treatments are minimally invasive and can often have a big impact even with a relatively small or non-invasive procedure. Facial rejuvenation is really a very broad term aimed at procedures and interventions that are targeting the signs of aging. As we get older, we tend to lose facial volume in certain areas and in other areas that volume kind of descends with time. The second aspect is really wrinkles and folds. They're noticing wrinkles in areas that they maybe hadn't a few years prior. And then the last big piece of rejuvenation is skin color and skin texture. Red spots, brown spots, any discoloration that prevents the skin from being like all one color. So I think of these as kind of the three main pillars of facial rejuvenation. We're seeing a lot of prejuvenation where patients are coming in at a younger age to kind of address the signs of aging before they start. So you talked a little bit about earlier about like the thinning of the cheeks, so maybe some filler there and then a little. Erica is a great candidate for this treatment because she knows what she wants, she understands what to expect, and she is seeking a subtle improvement. Over the past few years, I've noticed some thinning of my cheeks, like as I've been starting to age towards my 30s. I have a mom who's also in healthcare who's been getting fillers as like a rejuvenation, and I've wanted to do it prophylactically. I chose Tufts Dermatology and Tufts Medical Center over a medical spa or an esthetician because these dermatologists are board certified. They have to go through several years of training and are specifically trained in giving these cosmetic procedures. There's not really any set age for when you should start Botox or filler treatments or any intervention for that matter. People are all different in terms of their anatomy. If something does come up, a dermatologist is better positioned to identify issues when they arise and is better positioned to treat them. My first appointment with Dr. Mustafa was very easy. She's super laid back and very fun and enjoyable to be around and she made me feel very comfortable. For me, it's worth spending money out of pocket for the desired look I want. As a result of COVID, people are spending a lot more time working from home and they're spending a lot more time doing video conferencing. We're seeing a lot more patients who are noticing things about themselves on camera that they maybe hadn't noticed before. Patients, things that they'll often say, my friends will comment that I look better or my significant other will comment that I look refreshed or better, but they can't tell exactly what's been done. And for us, that's the biggest compliment.